you see something new every time you're on the water. I think in baseball, it's the same thing. There's no game that's the same. A high drive, deep to left. Growing up in Tampa, how'd you end up in the New York Mets? I went to University of Florida, played college ball there, and from there, I got drafted, played three years of minor league baseball. I've been with the Mets since 2016. Are there any similarities that yeah. you find between baseball and fishing? You have to prepare. You have to have a plan, and you have to be willing to adjust or adapt, whether it be weather or deal with unexpected things, and make the best of it. Do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions? If I'm going well, then I won't shave my face, but if I go through a couple of bad games, then facial hair is gone. But one thing I don't do, I don't bring a banana on a boat. I don't eat bananas. No bananas on the boat. No bananas on the boat. How important is the gear that you take and wear? It's huge because Florida, the temperatures can vary, especially now in the summertime. You know, you can run into a 30 minute torrential downpour and then be totally fine. Being able to stay dry, stay cool, I think those are really integral. Having the right clothing is, is just as important as having the right rod and reel set up or throwing the right bait out. They're just as important. For me, it's all about having the right tools to get success. Being comfortable leads to success. If you're not comfortable, you're not going to have a good time. If you're not having a good time, you might as well just go back in. There's very few places where I can find total relaxation and, and just clear my mind and, and have peace and clarity. In the water and on the boat, that's, that's one of those places. There's just something about being on the water, having a line, hoping to catch a fish. The tug is the drug.